errors of today are built on the errors of the last century, and they in turn on the previous, and so on back to the childhood of the Western world, which is ancient Greece. To understand what exactly are the root errors of today's world, why these errors developed, how, how they clashed with and are progressively submerging its good premises. And therefore, to understand what to do to cure the patient, you have to reconstruct the intellectual history of the Western world. I don't want to take the time now to give you many examples. I'll give you just schematically one. Consider the phenomenon of progressive education to which I alluded. How would you explain that except by reference to John Dewey? But Dewey simply applied to education the principles of William James. And James simply made an obvious deduction from Hegel. And Hegel is a minor variant on Kant. And Kant was trying to answer Hume, who was the last consistent consequence of the trend inaugurated by Descartes and Locke, who were simply reformulating in a somewhat more secular way the principles of Augustine, who was simply reformulating in a somewhat more religious way the principles of Plato, who was trying to answer the dilemma posed by Heraclitus and Parmenides, who took off from four sentences of Thales with which we are beginning tonight. 